Hello everybody and welcome back to SCP-3008 Lone Survivor. Now, this video is going to be up late, but that's because I was stupid and did something that I'm sure anybody who's done recording has done before, which is uh, I forgot to record the video. I recorded all the audio, an hour of audio, and then forgot to click record for the screen. So, yeah. It also means that I've done a lot of stuff that is now no longer on footage, which is a bit sad, but at the same time, it just means you don't have to watch uh, basically a lot of me breaking things for footage. Uh, there's also, I'll, I'll show you the things I've done. It, it's not much, but I'll talk about it in the actual video because these entries gone for too long. You know? Oh, and here is my favorite comment of last video. It's on screen now. Thank you to this person. I haven't decided yet as of recording. <laughs> I'll do it whilst editing. I'll go back for the video, go for my hearty comments and choose one that I thought was pretty spicy. This fan interaction is very, very nice. But anyway, enough of yabbering. Let's actually get fucking started, mate. Since we're up to day nine, I, I swear I got up to day 10, but maybe I didn't save. I probably didn't because I realized I wasn't recording. Okay, so we're on top of the base and I can distinctly remember that the staff destroyed the majority of this tripwire fence. So I reckon I didn't save, which is good. Let's check the staff pile. I'll get a rough idea of how far back I've gone. Okay, this is good. Well, good in the fact of... Okay, it's not so good. So, I discovered metal spikes. <laughs> and now I don't have metal spikes. Oh, that's... That's a bit sad. Ah, uh, at the same time, it means I get to go find it again. So that's good for... Good for you guys, right? Yeah, that's good for you guys. Welcome to the episode of Let's Go Find Goddamn Metal Spikes, eh? Also, someone pointed out that the, the, the silverware is the best tool because it has infinite uses. Negative 224 uses so far, so, which is great. And also, the fork jab, which is right click, hits faster than your fist. So, it's technically better. It hits as hard as your fist, and it's just as fast. So, if my memory serves me correctly, someone said that there was a recipe between Yep, there. And that's a short circuit trap. Which means I've now got to go around the world and find the metal spikes again. It was this one? No? Right. Uh. So I know it's in the world, I just got to find it. This one? No. Oh, actually, that's good. That's really good. Save that bad boy. Extension cord? I could just fill the room with electric traps. They're even better. Although, the extension cords can also be broken. Hmm, I don't know. We could just settle for wooden spikes. We do need to redo the corpse pile because it fills up quickly and this design isn't very effective because they all walk in and get stuck. They need to travel a, a very long distance, so we might need to actually put walls in. Well, it's two o'clock in game, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get some wood for wooden spikes. So at least the staff will all die and we don't have to worry about it at night time. So I'll be just mashing these chairs. I'll probably just speed up the footage because that's nicer than a cut, I think. It also sounds funny. You can see how this would take a really long time, especially if I left it all uncut in the video, eh? Yeah. Okie dokes. Cut a bit, we have 72 wood, which means 7 sets of wooden spikes. Which is a lot. We could probably refill the room with it. I know they don't last very long, but we'll probably just do that for tonight. Because we desperately need... ...a defensive thing set up. We ain't gonna last long without... ...decent staff killing devices. We also need the experience quite bad. See, there's a lot of them going in, which is kinda not what we want right now. Because it means we can't go in there because they'll get angry. Right, we need to do this quickly. We'll make... Wooden spikes. Well, the inventory's broken again. There we go, wooden spikes, go. Yeah, it doesn't work. Oh. I'm honestly surprised he didn't get close enough to get angry at me. Although I'm going insane for some reason. I haven't done anything, why? Right, quick. Oh, no, we got an angry one. Whoa, the insanity is very loud. 
All right, let's leave. We're very insane. Whoa, crazy. Let's just, where's, um, use some of these. Dude, chill. It's getting quite hard to see what I'm doing now. I can't see if there's any alive in there. I think one is. Okay, it's still work. It's kind of working. We need to walk away from this for a second. We need to chill out. I cannot see. You won't be able to see. It's nine o'clock. It's about to go dark anyway. We need to find somewhere away from staff to sleep. All right, just sleep here. Sleep. Relax. Whew. Okay. I mean, if you're insane, would going to bed make you not insane? I don't think that's how it works. No, if I was crazy, I'd probably be crazier in my dreams because I go to bed thinking about something and I dream about it. So if I was dreaming about being insane, I'd be insane in my sleep, you know? It's not even being insane is the problem. It's the how loud it gets because the music echoes and that then that echo echoes and then it just becomes noise. Well, morning people. We nearly have starved in our sleep, but not quite. But at least we're not insane anymore. And it's the first time in a while we've actually nearly run out of food. We're gonna have to go food hunting. Never thought that would happen. But why are we hungry, you may ask? That's because I thought we had so much food we'd never need to eat again. I also thought the series would end sooner, but the updates are taking longer, so I actually have more time to actually play through this version and get, you know, this is gonna be episode three. Which is the most amount of episodes I've done in this so far. Right, let's pick up these darts, because if staff walk on them, they'll get angry, and we need to very quickly Clean up this pile before the staff come. And they're already here. Well, he didn't last very long, did he? He did take a spike with him, though. It's a bit sad. He's also dropped a... a perk. Berserk, okay. That's good if one of them gets... angry, which... No, no, no. Let me out. XP grinder, keep doing your thing. We're going to... Uh... Oh... The tea table, no. Fucking staff destroyed after tea table. Shit. Well, it looks like we've got to repair the tea table. Okay, so we need. We're gonna need some of the big tables, and we're gonna need some of these little tables. And we also need two pallets. We also. That's a good indication that we need to repair the tea table and build its defenses up because it's fucking weak. Yeah, it needs walls, traps around the walls. Fuck it. Right, the corpse pile is no good. We gotta defend the tea table properly. Because if it can fall this easily, uh, the traps also didn't do their job very well. <laughs> okay, luckily we have a hardware department very close, so pallets aren't an issue. Grab a couple of these. We can also make walls out of these. Hey, at least we're XP rich. It's Something's good's come out of this. We have 448 experience, so we can level up some stuff soon, including the defensive skill, which is not maxed out. We'll max out Melee Master, and we're going to get the Adrenaline perks, because when I tested those, those were absolutely bloody amazing. We'll also get sprinting so we can move stuff around quicker, because you can still run with things held, which is like the best thing ever. Okay, little tables. I specifically didn't damage these, so I could have them for when I... In Something did eventually happen, but now I just gotta find the big tables, and I think they're a bit harder to find actually. I can never find them. Come on, where are the big tables? I need them. I've probably run past them. I can't remember where they spawn. They spawn in a row of two. Right? Yeah. God damn table. It's what it's made out of. I can't substitute for anything else. There we go. That's quite a while away, and they need multiple of them. I think I destroyed a couple of them, actually thinking about it. Yeah, I think I need three. Right, stay away. I can't have you damaging... <coughs> oh, bloody hell. I can't have you damaging the rebuilding process. I need full cooperation from the staff not to get pissed whilst I'm repairing everything. I mean, I don't know why they're hanging around the base, because... There's no bodies there. There's a reason I didn't put any bodies there. It was to keep them away. That's the point of the trap room. It's to draw them away and then kill them. But they still managed to rip half the base apart. I'm furious. I'm so angry. My baby. Tell you what, I'm never going to run out of those small tables. They are everywhere. Maybe I should build it out of things that are a bit easier to find. Although I suppose these ones are quite quick to find. Just go look for the 
the long red sofas. And you'll find it eventually. Okay, four o'clock. We have time. Whack the last. Oh no, I've got to dismantle the top. Why did they take the bloody bottom bits off and not the top bits? It's just a huge inconvenience for me. Because now I've got to bloody repair all of it. It's just what we call a massive pain in the ass. Like, you can fuck off. You, you're, you're the guys that caused this. You're no longer welcome. The trap is still kind of doing its job, I suppose. I think the annoying bit is actually trying to get this all lined up. But it's looking good. We're nearly done. It was I designed it so it was easy to kind of rebuild whilst having an elevated position. Although it's clearly not high enough because the staff can still reach to break it. Hmm, it might need a redesign at some point. Although I'm kind of just wanting to get it so it's easy to on, slide in. Come on, you're like halfway perfect. Alright, it's being a pain in the ass now. It's not wanting to... That's upside down, that's no good. No, we're running out of time, it's seven o'clock, we've only got two hours before night time. No, I think I've messed up the table layout. No, please. Please game. Just cooperate. We're, we're nearly done. We just... There you go, right. I just There's a spare table here, am I blind? Okay, it's not quite how it was, like, not as lined up, but <laughs> for a rushed, it's about to go dark job, it's not bad. Now I just need to replace the steps, because it needs to be a bit higher to get in. How high can I jump? Can I jump up from here? No, it needs to be taller. God damn it, need gym furniture now as well. Everything's difficult. Never build your base elevated. Okay, unless you can fly, in which case do it. There. There we go, nice and safe again. Now, do we have enough time to start building a wall? I'm literally just going to get these pallets, flip them up lengthways, <laughs> like so. And then it falls over, and then I have to do it again. Come on, these are meant to be easy. Nope, they just don't want to stand up. Will they stand up... This ways. Kinda? Yep, yeah, that works. Right, uh... Okay, they're angry. They're also breaking everything. We kinda need to stay here to defend the base. Uh, the game will be very juddery whilst they're destroying everything. It's a bit demanding on the old hardware, you know? There, right. Now they should walk up to this to hit it and get stuck. Although they're still pretty fascinated with the thing over there. You probably won't be able to see, but they are running back into the pit to try and well, kill something, I'm guessing. They're trying to break all the traps, and once those traps give out, they're going to come back here <laughs> and come and kill me. I've had an idea. The staff won't try and run through somewhere that has a physical wall like this. They'll follow a path where they can get through. So if I corridor this off here, and they'd have to run through, like, say, this specific bit here, line it with spikes, they should die. Well, that's the plan anyway. I seriously doubt it will work out like that. Oh, oh, right. The extension cord is really fucking dangerous. Noted. I just destroyed half of the base with a goddamn extension cable. Are you joking? I just wanted lights a bit closer like that so I could see what I was doing. And now I can't... Ah, oh, you... Okay, it only destroyed one pillar. Everything else seems to be okay. I thought this was all fixed. I don't know why it's become unfixed. Did I not fix it all properly? The object's moving too much? It's not moving at all. I think it was pre-lined up when you picked it up. But that works. That's on. I think everything's stable again. Right, what's fixed? This isn't fixed. That's now fixed. That's fixed. That's fixed. So this shouldn't fly away anymore. It's like when you fix things around some things, it doesn't work, which is really weird. Game quirks, am I right? Hello? I can't see you very well. That's because your AI is fucked, I see. Lovely. Let's uh, put you out of your misery, I guess. Ball Q. There we go. Come here. Okay, I don't want to get hit by a double strike from those guys. Let's... Oh, they're all stuck in there. Okay. Right, there's a lot more than I thought. This is a bit out of my control at this point. 
Um, not enough battery left. Okay, this this is bad. This is bad. No, don't go insane. Don't go. Don't do it. I need to. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> Okay, here comes the insanity. Let's do this. If I get the darts, I could probably pick away at them. I have 36 darts. That's not enough to kill all these guys. Not in the slightest, but they are mining material for me. So thank you very much, guys. One's down. I want to kind of keep them in one area so we know where all the corpses are. I don't want to die. <laughs> Come here, come on, come on. Bring it on, guys. The store's closed, but y'all gonna fucking die. Okay, I'm getting a little bit less insane, I think. Yeah. Wait, does killing staff make you feel better or being in the light? Shit, we're out of darts. Uh, is the electric, does the electric light any more charge again? Out of battery again. How much battery does it need to, to one go? There you go. Oh, that was close. How much damage does fire do? Because it doesn't seem to be doing much. Nope, that was close. Okay, we got one with <laughs> one with fire. Fire is an effective weapon. Whoa, wait a minute. Did I just discover something? I, I, you probably couldn't see that. I think you can destroy things with fire. Come on, charge up the battery again. I need to demonstrate it. See this lamp here? I know I'm being molested, but... You can mine things with fire. Why am I not just hitting this guy with a goddamn fire axe to finish him off? Fuck off. There, we survived a goddamn Ikea horde. Are you impressed? You better be. Okay, good news. It has cleared up this area enough, so I now know that I can build this up without the staff having to, you know, come in and kill me. You also burn away excess bodies. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, we'll stand here, charge up, we'll eat a little bit of food because we're starving. And I really mean a little bit of food. I don't think we really have much left. Yep, okay, so that's all the food we had. It's 8 a.m. It's about to go light soon. We're going to let the electric lighter charge up a bit because, goddamn, we're going to be able to mine so much very quickly with this new mining tool. I cannot wait to use it. we got to, we got to, I can't wait. Let's try it. Fuck it. Okay, these these are tightly packed. Oh! Ow. Okay, it can hurt me. Which means I go super fast temporarily. Amazing. Okay, this is great. It does mean I have to recharge it though. But item gathering is going to be easy. If I can get a stack of things really close, very quickly get things. It also means I could probably burn away bodies, right? Yes? No? I don't know. Fire doesn't last very long. And electrolyters do have limited uses. Hello, the tea table. You're doing well? Good. Okay, things that give a lot of material are these benches. If you... They have so much health. Don't get any ideas. Wow, yeah, these take a long time to burn away. It's actually outlasting the fire. Oh, wait, no. Well, why did that one break and that one didn't? Yeah, two metal and I think four wood, yeah. Oh, that was, uh, that was a waste of a bit of battery. Okay, let's quickly make a... Start to this. Start defending the areas that we have. Although we need to get a lot more wood. I mean, I was going to use the staff to mine things, but if I get an electric lighter, it does a much better job of doing it. Okay, so, going to quickly get to day 12, or night, night 11. At least we have to save now. Don't forget to save, people. Uh, we're going to get some food. We're going to mine all the benches. Someone's going to text me. And we're going to get loads of material really quickly, hopefully. I'm also going to set fire to those flammable barrels over there. <laughs> set fire to these. And then... Yeah, that works. Go here as well. 
Oh, the frame rate. I'm so sorry, game. This should explode in a second. Nope. It, I think it gets to about one hit off and then it... Yeah, there we go. Good enough. And these are all broken as well. Oh my goodness, we've just discovered... Oh. <laughs> I guess this is where I killed the horde. Yeah, lots of darts. Well, put them into a pile. Hopefully the staff one night will see them and eat them away. I don't want this to be the new pile. I want to... This could be the temporary pile. It's a sacrifice pile. Yeah, the convenience of this also is you can technically, if you get full charge, just run around and break multiple items whilst you're waiting for other things to break. Like that. See, I'm now recharging and ready to destroy more things by the time that's done. I see if piling things on top of each other, like a campfire, works. There I go. Not sure how big the fire hitbox is. Oh god, the food! It sort of works. It's quick-ish. I suppose I get quite a lot of material from it. Don't know how this works, but, you know, I'm destroying things with fire to get the material that's made out of, normally it would burn things away. Because it means I can just get these benches, put them right next to each other and go one, and I get double the material twice as fast. I hope. I think that's how it works. Either way, this is amazing. I can't believe no one thought this. People like use staff. I'm gonna use fire. Although this didn't break. Weird, all right. I'm gonna set fire to everything. Come on, break. You take too long. Thank you. Setting fire to the Ikea is the best way to survive. You can actually use the sun fires burn for longer. Does the same fire to the wooden floor make it burn for longer? Maybe. Boom. So much wood. Right, we're going to finish this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you really want to see more, subscribe. And if you want to uh, help the channel, I've got a Patreon and then you get to watch these videos early because some people are impatient like. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will see you very soon for another video. Toodaloos. And yes, I, uh, I am lost. I, I can't find my way home again. There it is. Bye, peeps.